Duck. Say Duck was shot so many times. But that story, I can't believe. Man, these Masons gotta get their story right, their story right, cause I can't breathe. Say Duck was shot so many times. But that story, I can't believe. Man, these Masons gotta get their story right, their story right, cause I can't breathe. Man, shout out my Vaughn. Shout out my Vaughnettes. You heard what I'm saying? Because we are the best. Y'all definitely know the rest. Now, y'all know the saying. I hope everybody's day is going a okay. Because me, myself, personally, my day is going great. So far, so good. As long as nobody get in my way, everything going to be a okay. And I'll be trying to rhyme and just come out like that sometime. You heard me? Dow Jones on the people's homes and all the surrounding land. Gang. And when I say gang, it be for my Vons and my Vonettes, you know what I'm saying? The woke gang, you know what I'm saying? The people that know what's going on, the people that they get stepped on. Let nobody, you know what I'm saying, down your back and tell you it's raining, you understand me? You feel me? See, because this A1 sauce over here, I'm kicking to you. See what I'm saying? This is Porterhouse Steak over here. The videos they got, that's cornflakes, you see? So let's see what's going on with Mama Duck. This is the part two of the other video. The video was um too long, you guys, so it was it wouldn't upload. So I had to cut the video down in several pieces. You know what I'm saying? So we can um get all these lies and things of that nature situated. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, let me stop talking. Get this J O B D O N E. You know, just like we always do about this T I M E. Because he seen me, he seen it, he knew it, he knew it. And that lady told my son, no, because of her merchandise. But so the lady in the store told Doug, no, because of her merchandise, that he couldn't go to the washroom, you guys, because it was allegedly killers at the window looking at Duck, and Duck was in there allegedly shook, begging the lady in the store to let him go in the back because they're going to drill him out. But for some strange reason, why the lady didn't give the police that report? Why the lady didn't give a description of the killers that was at the window? And why is Moo whopping them at the window when they supposed to allegedly drove up and seen Mr. FBG Duck and jumped out and drilled him out while he was standing in the line because of COVID, right? And since you keep putting Duck in all these stores and things like that, could we get the footage of Duck inside the store asking the lady, can he go to the restroom? Could we get the um, footage where the girl was, Duck told the girl to go to her car, because you remember they was in the store at the same time. And then the little boys that walked up and asked Duck for an autograph. You see what I'm saying? Because one thing for sure and two things for certain, inside that store have footage too. But the footage y'all showed us of Mr. Teasy, Teasy was looking out outside the store like he seen Duck somewhere outside the store. But let you tell it. You telling us Duck was in the store and all the killers was running around the windows, I guess, with their guns flashing and everything because this is why Duck was spooked. So let me try to put this together. Is this why Moo Wop them ran up and four shooters jumped out of four cars and then they ran up to the window and they was looking in the window for him? I don't know, but she got a billion different stories. You see what I'm saying? Lies. And let's check the rest of them out, okay? He just spent... $250 on a pair of socks and a t-shirt. Who cares? It's like I told you last time. $250 in JaVinci is not nothing. That's their tax, boo-boo. You see, well, that's tax. Duck spent tax. You see, that's it. So allegedly you're trying to say JaVinci was bogus because they didn't let Duck in the back and he spent $250 there. Well, why JaVinci didn't never say nothing? JaVinci ain't letting his black A in the back anyway. You see what I'm saying? Because JaVinci don't have nothing to do with no STL, allegedly old block beef. But the reason why they didn't let Duck in the back, because Duck was never in JaVinci. Duck was never in JaVinci. This is why we never got no um video or nothing of Duck in JaVinci. Why is killers at the window? Duck was never in JaVinci. So the lady didn't have to let him go to the washroom. You understand me? You know why? Because Duck never got parked. Duck got drilled out as soon as he hit downtown in the Gold Coast. Why she talking about Duck running all around the blocks and flying all around? Well, where's the footage out of that stuff? But you show here that footage, the frame move whopping them with, right? Gang. Because they spotted him. And but truth be told, they was going to kill him in that store. 
So if truth be told, they was going to whack him in the store and all that, then why Doug didn't call nobody from STL or why Doug didn't call for no help or why the people inside the store didn't call the police or something if they evidently outside this store looking at Duck and finna drill Duck out in the store. No one told us that four shooters jumped up, um, pulled up, jumped out the car and walked around the Gold Coast looking for Duck, looking at windows. No, they told us four shooters um, jumped out of two cars and they said four shooters jumped out of two cars and got to shooting that duck and allegedly hit him with 16 shots in 20 seconds. But for them to be standing in all that window and running all up and down the street looking in the window at duck, that's a lot of time right there. You see what I'm saying? So you're telling me that Moo Wapnum is not caught on no camera downtown doing all this stuff. So they ain't caught on no camera downtown doing this. For some strange reason, the only footage we got, videos we got, is the ones that you sent to that YouTuber. You know, when they said, hey, do you think the mama has something to do? He was like, I don't know. I don't know. You got to ask her. She sent me the videos today. What videos was that? The last videos of Moo Wapnum allegedly running down the stairs. And oh, the videos of Moo Wapnum allegedly getting in those cars. You see what I'm Said, oh, in the video of them on Lakeshore Drive, right? That wasn't the day when Duck got drilled out. Y'all can show us all them videos. Well, show us four shooters jumping out of two cars drilling Duck out. And then show us four shooters that jumped out of two cars that was running around looking in the window with guns in their hand waiting on Duck to come out. So how did Duck allegedly get out the store then? We're going to let you explain it. And we're going to see if the people can figure out if you're lying or not. You see what I'm saying? It's getting real hot out here in the field. But he decided to leave doing his duty that he he didn't put their people at risk. He even told one of the young ladies in the store, get in her car and leave. Um, of course, Duck didn't put nobody at risk. You see what I'm saying? Because that was the whole scenario for you and uh, the, the, the people they was letting pull that lick off to make sure that don't nobody out there, no one else get put at risk. So make sure when y'all ride up and drill Duck out, you do it the right way. One come from the side, hit him in the neck. Mr. Curly pulls up, give him a chest shot and a growing shot. And this is how Duck fell right there on the ground where he was at. And that's why it's only three trajectory bullet holes out there. You know what I'm saying? There's one in Duck's back window. You know what I'm saying? That little bitty back window, the one that came through when the when the dude that was with him jumped out and left the door open. Then when Bike Man rode up and shot right, he hit Duck in the neck, right? And that's how the blood got on the old girl's left hand because Duck was hitting the right side of his neck and he was in the driver's seat and she was in the passenger seat. And when Duck went to take cover and open that door, Mr. Curly rolled up, gave Duck a chest shot and that bullet went right there in the car behind Duck. That little brown car is at the top of the windshield. You can see the bullet trajectory. The other bullet went right there in the driver's side wheel well in the car and that's the bullet that hit Duck and is growing and this is why Duck fell right there by his driver's side back wheel. Dang! And what did breaking news say? What did the news say? What did the news say? Young man shot, Chicago rapper shot three times in his chest, his neck, and his growing. Then she's up there talking like Duck was a good Samaritan, like Duck's finna come down here and give his life up for these people in the Gold Coast. No, Duck dump these dead children every day. You think Duck wanted to wake up and go give his life up in the Gold Coast for these people? He's a good Samaritan. You done lost your cotton pick in mind. One thing for sure and two things for certain, you don't know your son like you think you know him. Yes, you did because you took him out the box. You see what I'm saying? He didn't know you like he thought he knew you. Gang. Yeah. So I'm thinking for my son, why didn't he leave? Everybody saying why he didn't leave from down there. I wouldn't leave from the most prestigious place if I know some killers is on here. If they gonna kill me, they gonna kill me right here. See, this is why I say you don't know him. And this is how I know you set it up because you sitting there talking about something. I wouldn't leave either in the most particular. Who want to die down in, in the Gold Coast? No, Duck would have took his chances getting drilled out on STL where his brother got drilled out or where his soldiers at. You see what I'm saying? Nobody wants to go down to the Gold Coast and get drilled out. She up there talking because she thinks she high price or something. She want to lose her life in the Gold Coast. Strange, but you took your child out in the Gold Coast. So allegedly, y'all, this lady is saying, Duck see all these drillers down here looking for him. Listen, Moop no man have enough time to be running all around downtown with no fully out of better weapons for him, y'all chasing Duck around there. So allegedly, she's saying that that Duck decided not to call nobody to help him, not to leave, not to go back to STL, not to do nothing, just come back and get drilled out because he's so much of this good Samaritan. If they're gonna do anything to me, they're gonna do it right here. I know my son. I'm
No, you don't. Duck is not going to. See, you keep up there saying, you know your son, you know your son. Man, ain't nobody's son going to do that. Nobody's son is going to sit down there and get drilled out while all these people around here chasing him allegedly. They're going to be on the phone trying to call their guys or they're going to try to get back to their block. You're saying that because you're trying to appeal to the mothers, keep talking about something. I know my son. I know my son. You don't know your son. Only thing you knew was to drill him out. And y'all, and what I just said was the honest to God truth. And if you think I'm lying, I'm going to let her tell you herself. I know how he thought 26 years. I know that boy. Well, according to reports, uh, two cars pulled up and uh, four four people with guns opened fire. Yeah. And um, along... Yo, this is why they brought teasing into the whole situation, y'all, to try to clean up this right here. This is what I was shredding Mama Duck with. This is why they brought teasing in the situation. You hear what Vlad said? So allegedly two cars pulled up and four shooters jumped out and started shooting. Okay, but Vlad never said that four shooters was running around the window, running, doing this, or running, doing that, and allegedly Duck was supposed to be standing in the line, right? And this is why Mama Ducklim had to come back with all the stuff with Teasy was looking at Ducklim, and they knew Duck was down there. So allegedly you saying that either you saying there was moo whopping them in the window trying to drill them out because you said they was going to kill him right there in that store. You saying that, right? Or either you saying Teasy was at the window with guns, but we see pictures of Teasy looking out the window. You see what I'm saying? Either way it go, you cannot put your a story together. The story cannot be put together because you screwed up big time. See, y'all, listen, the story is four car, um, two cars pulled up and four shooters jumped out and drilled Duck out while Duck was standing in the line. But you see this, what she telling y'all what happened at the beginning. Allegedly, first they seen Duck in the store and all this Duck saving people and all this stuff like this. You see, it doesn't go, it doesn't make any sense, boo-boo. With Duck getting shot Two other people were shot as well. Yes, the young lady who was with him. Yeah. The young lady who was with him. Yeah. The young lady who was with him. And yeah, that's another screw up. And this is why she keeps saying the young lady that was with him, the young lady that was with him, the young lady that was with him. Because allegedly now she's Duck's baby mama. You see what I'm saying? But why she didn't say that at first? Why she ain't saying Duck's children's mother? She keeps saying the young lady that was with him, the young lady that was with him. Because the young lady that was with him was on the play. And the young lady that was with him is not Duck's baby mama. You see what I'm saying? While them tubers run up there putting up Duck baby mama. No, the young lady that was with him. The gentleman who was standing in behind him because they let two young ladies in first. But he had not already spotted them from the other store. They let the two young ladies in first. And why she keep naming two ladies, y'all? Because she's talking about that girl that was with Duck and also the black chubby lady that was out there, the one I told y'all that was out there yelling. Oh, they was chasing him. They was chasing him. They chased him around the corner. And the police looked in the face and said, well, why you didn't call nobody? Rocked her. Rocked her right there. And this is the two young ladies she was talking about. Everybody she's talking about is the people that was with Duck. The two young ladies, the fat, chubby black girl, the girl that got shot, and the guy that was with Duck. And now this is why she's putting Duck at another store. Y'all, Duck actually got away, she said, with his life, y'all, and then went around the corner, y'all, while all these drillers chasing him around downtown, looking at stores for him. And then he went around the corner, y'all, and then came back and stamped in the line to go in another store, you guys. Strange, isn't it? So he rode around the block, and that's how he ended up in front of Doshe and got out, and, and he was following this, the, the, the rules and so See, I thought I was big teeth. I don't be big teeth in the cap. But she, you heard her. She said Duck got away with his life, y'all, and then came back around the corner. Now she's still trying to make him out of a good Samaritan. And then he was following the rules of social distances and all that. He was following the rules of social distance and all of this stuff, y'all. He came back around the corner and gave his life up. Duck is not doing that. Duck this dead people every day. He didn't want to give his life up in the prime of his life. Is you out your mind? Anybody with a right mind, you ain't got to be gangster. You ain't got to be tough. Or you ain't got to be nothing. If I was in that situation, guess what? I would have got away. Um, if I would have got the way I wasn't going around the corner to stand in no line. I probably was going to go get my guys in them, and we know they wasn't going to be back down. We wouldn't know they weren't going to be downtown, so we probably was going to ride on their block and drill somebody out for them not getting that score. You see what I'm saying? Or if I put myself in that predicament, I allegedly have my weapon on me. You know the one from the Dead B video, right? I allegedly had this a weapon on me, and I got drillers standing at the window looking at me with guns and stuff, and I'm inside the store. 
Then I bust off when we cause a commotion to the police get there. Then I save my life. You see what I'm saying? I don't care about getting caught with the joint just as long as they don't take me out the box down here. You see what I'm saying? But I would have definitely let them know that I was strapped in the dough and it's going to be a war. That's it. And that's all. And I definitely would have let them know I'm taking a few cats with me. F it. I need the company. Gang. You talk about in the midst of duck coming back and all that and standing in line. And then that's when the dude started talking to him. My dude was not with duck. He was with duck. This is why duck back door is open, lady. He was with duck. Or was you in the back door? in the back seat because somebody definitely was and it was the guy that jumped out to move those cones. And don't forget, boo-boo, Duck never got parked to even be out standing in no line. Just look at his car on the news. The crime scenes tells it all. Chest, neck, and growing shot as Duck pulled up and he was trying to park that car because he told the dude in the back seat to get out and move those cones. So if Duck was allegedly standing this Corona line and the line for Corona and all that waiting to go in this store then, then how did Duck car get those three bullet shots? You know, that one right there in the wheel well on the driver's side, that one trajectory in that brown car that's behind Duck's at the top of the windshield and that one bullet on the passenger side behind that little bitty window right there. You see what I'm saying? Doesn't seem like a fully automatic weapon to me. And those are three um, shots that I can count for, you know, the one in his chest, his neck, and his growing. And then y'all came out with this bull crap dying declaration talking about duck was like, because I keep telling y'all I would, they trying to debunk me y'all where I showed y'all that duck was shot more than, uh, only shot three times. Cause I put that new script in that way and say he was shot in the chest, neck, growing, put all the new scrippings up that said that the duck was shot in the chest, neck, growing. His mama came out, said 16, the corner saying something different, the feds saying something different. Talking about on this dying decoration, duck was allegedly down there to my, oh, I'm shot everywhere. Um, no, we didn't see him shot everywhere. We seen where that stain was on Duck's shirt. It was in his chest, right? And he was shot in his neck too, right? And he was also shot in his groin, right? Duck had on light clothes that day, and we could see where the blood had, and we definitely don't see blood skiing out of 16 holes, right? Gang. That's the only reason why they came out with this dying declaration thing. Y'all have never heard that on social media ever, right? You have never heard that Duck's dying declaration was, I'm hit everywhere, right? So this is why they came out with that, because I proved Duck wasn't hit everywhere, right? Gang. Shot with Duck didn't know that young man. He wasn't with Duck. He was an innocent victim. Yeah. And the young lady who was with him, if it wasn't for her... I ain't no telling how they would have shot my son because she returned fire on them. So she returned fire on them, but I'm trying to see what did she return fire with? Did she return fire with Duck's gun, the one from the dead bees, or did she return fire with her gun, you know, because you said she was licensed to carry and Duck didn't have his gun on him, right? So who's she returning fire at? And then allegedly they got fully automatic weapons, right? And 20 shots. I mean, 16 shots Duck was hit with in less than 20 seconds, right? That's what you tell me? So they didn't have enough time to drill the girl out? Nobody blasted back at the girl or nothing? Oh, so let me get this right. They must have hit her in the hand, right? Strange. Whoever hit her in the hand got good aim. If they just hit her one time in the hand and they got all these full automatic weapons, you see what I'm saying? And then again, they have bad aim too if they got these fully automatic weapons and Duck only has three little holes in his car and then he has one on the opposite side. So where was they shooting from? Which direction? Was Duck standing in the line? Was Duck running all around in the store? Why the girl didn't get the bus and when Duck was allegedly in the store and they was at the window looking at Duck, huh? Why? 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 Oh, she had a gun and started shooting back. Oh, oh. yes. She was licensed to carry, yes. He never went no, nowhere without nobody who couldn't be licensed to carry. The, there she go telling y'all that the girl was shooting with her gun because she was licensed to carry. Well, how did Duck gun get on the scene? You see, because now you're finna come back and tell us that you told Duck that don't even they have no gun, so Duck wasn't carrying his gun because he was riding with the girl and she was licensed to carry, right? So how was Duck gun on the scene? Because she wasn't licensed to carry Duck gun. She was licensed to carry her gun, right? And that's what you said that she was busting with, right? Okay. Strange, isn't it? So Moo-Wop and them didn't drill her out, right? They didn't drill her out, right? Okay. Thank you. Oh, wow. The reason he stopped carrying guns because I told him 
You know that the fans is here. You he wasn't worried. He wasn't worried about it. He believed in God. And I'm fine with that. You live, you die. You live, you die. It might sound cruel or cruel. It might sound cruel or cruel. But I serve a just God. So you live and you die, and that's cool. Y'all understand what she's saying, right? Y'all understand what she's saying. And one thing about these Eastern stars is they always running around and um, they always running around using God, you guys, to make you think that there's so much godly people and all that. Well, if she was this much godly, I don't think she would be up here um, lying to you people. I don't think she'll be on her OnlyFans page with her Mama Ducks challenge. Do y'all see what she's doing? Y'all see the dance she's doing right in front of her daughter? You see what I'm saying? You see how she's raising her daughter? The Mama Duck challenge. She out here in the middle of the field, y'all, in in, at her crib in the middle of the field, humping the ground, doing all type of crazy stuff, some things that a mother isn't supposed to be doing. And this is why I tell y'all, these women to get all in your face. I'm a godly person. I'm this and I'm that. No, they're not. They're the most evil, as worse as people walking because look what she just did. She just took her child out. That's a billion percent fact. And that's why the people in the Gold Coast was allegedly helping her because we was never going to get the footage of Doug getting took down downtown. You see what I'm saying? So his mama said that he didn't get away and all this stuff and Doug came and gave his life back up. His mama's a cotton picking lie. I swear to God on my life, on my children's life, that Mama Duck sacrificed her child. You know what I'm saying? Just how she told y'all that um, Dirk sacrificed Chino and Dirk sacrificed Nooski and Dirk did all this. She sacrificed her child, and that's why her and Duck, um, Dirk keep up those shenanigans. And she was the one that told Duck that Dirk was going to snake Vaughn out. And then she turned around and snaked her child out. The worst person you have ever seen is right here in your face. Trash. Gang, I will be back. Same bad time, same bad channel with more videos on this Theana.